Criticate! So, uh, something from last episode that I never got to mention, because we talked about those freaky kids and left beef shit. Uh, it's left beef pizza, and I would thank you not to <laughs> besmirch its name. Okay, and... So, so something you, you brought up the the whole like uh, loaded gun complex, like loaded gun complex for loaded Scott. gun complex. Yeah. <laughs> cock and pull it. I I watched a thing on um, Adam ruins everything, which is a fantastic show. Yeah, I don't like his voice. Really? I I've only ever seen him in those annoying commercials that were everywhere for the latest oh, season. Oh, sure, sure. And his voice was really annoying in those. I'm sure the show's fine. The show is super funny and and it's really informative. Uh, something that's clever that they do is. Whenever they cite a fact, they they actually cite it. So like they they put up the reference on the top of the screen. Oh, nice. So like like if you were writing a paper, you would cite all your re- your uh, references and everything. They nice. do that in the show. Um, something that they talked about, which is relevant to our show, uh, is when people are presented with facts, um, they immediately reject them if if they think that they're right. Hey, what? So like. So, like, say I believed that the Earth was flat, like yes. a flat Earther. Um, if you proved to me, like, through evidence, peer-reviewed evidence that was hard and, and damning, I would not believe it because it's part of my identity to want to believe that the Earth is flat. There's, a, like, a part nice. in your brain that activates the same way... The same part of the brain that feels pain activates when you're really, wrong. yeah. <laughs> That's <laughs> funny. So you you're just like, no, it's not fucking true. But what about those moments where you just have like a stark realization where you're just like, oh fuck. I, I think that that's more like you putting the pieces together. Like it's yeah. this happens when someone tells you that you're wrong. Gotcha. Yeah. So that's why people fight so hard when yeah, they're wrong. Exactly. Exactly. Um, okay. Yeah. So it's something like. You know that that everyone. I, I'm I'm going to be super aware of it now. Where I'm like, oh, if I'm presented with logic and facts, I really need to like kind of well, get out of my all own. All the time, and I never ever am swayed by my own opinion. <laughs> so uh, I don't know what you guys are talking about. You guys implying that there's more than one of you. <laughs> Wait, Jacob, <laughs> stop holding your tongue. Stop physically <laughs> holding it like that. Jacob, why are you ripping off your tongue? Oh, oh, God, Jacob, put it back. Oh, okay. I gotta go take Jacob to the hospital. This bit's over. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> I love how you do bits without me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I certainly I can't do j- bits with you. I was gonna jump in, but you just kept talking like rapid fire. You never gave me a chance to. <laughs> All right, let's do a bit. <laughs> no. Uh, okay, you be you be the little girl, and I'll be Alice. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm Alice. Wait, what? I'm, I'm, I'm talking. I'm, I'm not gonna I'm be the little Alice. girl. I'm Alice. I'm playing in the Wonderland. You, you, I've I've mentioned that your little girl voice sounds like uh, Professor Layton and the uh, Wait, what Professor Layton and the um, Luke? cancerous tumor. Oh, what the <laughs> fuck is Professor it's a, Layton? It's a, it's a Newgrounds animation. Oh, you told me about that. Yeah, it's so funny. Wait, is it just that Professor Layton has cancer? Yeah, but then oh like his <laughs> his child assistant, like he's being really serious about it, and like. Luke, I have I have something to tell you. But then Luke is just like a little kid who's like dumb as shit, and he's like, "Professor, c- cancer, cancer is bad, Professor, Professor. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't say ass, Professor. Ass is a bad word. <laughs> it's it's really funny. <laughs> that sounds like it'd be a lot funnier if I played Professor Layton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never played it. Uh, okay, so, and I still. I've always it. wanted to. Yeah, yeah. It's good. It seems it's, like something I would like. Right. I I got really interested when they did a Professor Layton. Uh, Phoenix Wright crossover? Yeah! I heard it's not that good, though. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, that's disappointing. Oh, no. It's a load of God complex. Because <laughs> I I haven't played a Phoenix Wright game since, like, the, the Nintendo DS ones, uh, but I really like it. Aren't they them. all on Nintendo DS? The first one was GBA, and well, then they you remade it for the, Yeah, yeah, but then they, they, yeah, they remade it for the DS, um, but no, th- there's 3DS ones now. Oh. Yeah, and, and they've continued it, and then, of course, they, they had the spin-off version oh. of the game. Um, where his his apprentice is the lawyer now. Uh, Ace Apollo. Come yeah, on. Ace Apollo. I've and never played They also those. had the other spinoff where you play as his it's rival. Edgeworth. Yeah. Edgy. His his name is Edgeworth. <laughs> and, he, and he is edgy. So. <laughs> he is edgy, but he's really cool. And of course, like in context, he's a way better character than just Edgy Phoenix Wright. Yeah. Me too. But <laughs> I am also very different from an Edgy Phoenix Wright. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Very different. <laughs> Jacob, if you had to sleep with one... Wait, I mentioned this to you in real life. What? 
we, we had this argument the other day. Not argument. We Not had this, this, this just high in depth conversation. Yeah. If you had to sleep with one celebrity who's murdered someone, and they can't oh, be yeah. famous for killing someone, it just has to be a celebrity who was famous before or after they murdered someone. Right. On purpose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who would you? Who would you? Oh, on purpose. Oh, well, it doesn't have to be premeditated. Okay. It, j- it just it just has to be <laughs> they killed someone, maybe on accident too. Okay. Because then Matthew Broderick wouldn't count if it yeah. was on. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I was I was gonna say Snoop Dogg. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'd probably say. You said, uh, you said Lee Harvey Oswald. Not Lee. No, not Lee Harvey Oswald. Um. um oh, sorry. John uh, Wilkes John Booth. Bill Booth. Bill. <laughs> John Wilkes filth, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Gross. <laughs> but yeah, what if what if John Wilkes Booth came back to life and he made a fucking fire album? <laughs> like he dropped it hard. <laughs> Why? What if? What? <laughs> what do you mean? What if? What if? I. I what I if don't that know, happened? Man. What would you do? That would be would super weird. That's that's almost nonsensical. Yeah. <laughs> I probably wouldn't. I don't listen to that much music anyway. It doesn't matter that it's Lee. No, I Lee Harvey Oswald. Again. Yeah, J- uh, John. Very Wilkes different. Booth. Except they both assassinated presidents. Well, they they have one the of whole, them. The weird, maybe, maybe. No, <laughs> fuck no. If you believe that, two shots. Stupid. Two shots. If you, if why you were there two that, shots? There weren't. Have you seen? You've you've never watched bullshit, have you? No. No. They they do an I'm entire. I'm joking, by the yeah, way. Yeah, I know. They do an entire episode debunking the whole. John or uh, Lee Harvey Oswald wasn't the killer of Kennedy thing. Yeah, it was me. <laughs> you heard it here. You it was it not folks. you. <laughs> I killed. You the are president. twenty years old. <laughs> I know. Or maybe this body is. Think about it. Are we going to go into reincarnation? Why don't we just talk about other things I think are stupid, like fucking horoscopes and Mig- Briar Miggs test, whatever it's called. Well, I. Wait, what, what do you do <laughs> with the Briar We're talking about re- re- test? Because it's not real. What the fuck? It doesn't. It's not scientific. Well, yeah, no, no, no quiz is fucking scientific. No, but even those personalities aren't scientific. They're not. They weren't discovered. There's, there's not actually only sixteen types of people. Well, yeah, obviously. <laughs> they, they don't tell you anything about you. A lot of the questions are biased. Uh, a lot of the, uh, a lot of it has to do with the fact that. Uh, you're introverted in certain situations and extroverted in others. Yeah. I mean, you can't be an introverted personality overall. It, it's not a real I thing. Mean, there are people like that. There are people who are more commonly, but like introverted than extroverted. But in certain situations, they you wouldn't have to fight be. these enemies at the same fucking time. Because this is their idea of challenge. They're annoying. <laughs> they just take a long time. Both of them. Yeah, She's I know. She's gonna black the hit. Watch. Oh, funny, funny. <laughs> Whatever, I still got him. <laughs> stupid. Yeah, it's stupid very fucking dumb. idiot. This is about where I just stuck to ranged. It works really well. Yeah, it just takes forever to reload, and it just just switch to the pepper grinder while you're waiting for the other yeah, one. Yeah, I still need to upgrade the pepper. Oh wait, did I? Upgrade no, you upgraded. It? It. Oh, I did. Holy, I? yeah. So this oh, is like it was really effective. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah. So this is. Oh my god! It's so it's much easier. so easy. Oh no! <laughs> oh, geez. they set up this whole complex shit, and it doesn't. <sighs> yeah, it comes down to it's that. Fucking stupid, fucking dumb, dumb, and it makes me want to cry with yeah. real tears out of my human eyes. <laughs> that's oddly oh. specific, but okay. Yeah. Oh God. I guess in Wonderland, that's not. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> oh, I didn't notice that. That it's is really funny. cute. Yeah. I was like, why does your nose look so weird? <laughs> then I figured it out. Oh. That is I, I like that. That was a cute little secret. You did it, Alice. You did a thing. You charmed me again. <laughs> I thought it was never gonna. Ugh. I, I still eyeball love in the house. Those. Never mind. Yeah, there's, there's, yeah, there's like, <laughs> there's points where you're like, oh, Alice, you did a thing, and then like five seconds later, nope, nope, this game is still garbage. Still doesn't do <sighs> good things. Loading God complex. <laughs> Cock and cocky and pulley. Cocky. Pulley, my cocky. Pulley, cocky. I'm gonna shoot my dad. <laughs> what? Uh, <laughs> what, uh, if I, what if I just like l- named my intentions for a crime just like subconsciously on Critic Aid? <laughs> like, at 12 p.m. on August 20. F- it's August 26th. It's, <laughs> it's, it's August 27th. Is it? What day is it? <laughs> Today is August 27th. I guess I woke Not up to date very the sharply episode. this morning. <laughs> but. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. On August 31st, okay. I will end the life of... K. 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 Applegate, writer of the Animorph series. Is that a real human? Yes. Or is that an animal? Is that a real human? Yes. <laughs> it's a real person. No, what if they're an animorph? They're not an animorph. What if he was like a he was like a just a dude. He was just like a science fiction writer. And what he if was like, I gotta write this children's shit. And then he writes really good children's shit. You know what pissed me the fuck off this what? week? What? I read or I listened to the audiobook, the entire audiobook of yeah. a book called Miles Morales Spider Man that came out. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Why did that piss you off? So it's a book written by James Reynolds, okay. who is a typically writes urban black fiction. Sure. And I'm like, okay, perfect. Yeah. This book's gonna be great. It's just Did a it- fucking goosebumps novel. <laughs> really? Yeah. It like, like okay. So like it starts you- off really strong. Sure. So so M- Miles is living in the inner city. People are talking like actual black kids would. You okay, know. Okay. Yeah. Sure. In, in, the, in the environment in which they're set up, and it makes sense. <laughs> right. Uh, and then they use all the right slang, and it's not cringy, and it's not written by some. Jewish guy that doesn't understand black people like the comic is. <laughs> okay. So then, every he's only Spider-Man for about four pages, in the entire book. Uh, uh, that's disappointing. Yeah. Well, no, I think it's more interesting as a character study. So they they set up a bunch of things that really tie into to Miles' struggles in the comics, Where are and you then going? in the end, I thought you'd go this way. You fly over here. You you do, but there's a the mushroom to your right. Is he? And then oh. it, it'll take you up, and then it'll give you a path there. Gotcha. Okay. Um, Maybe. Uh, and if you guys don't know, Miles Morales is the the half black, half Latino Spider Man. Yeah. Uh, and so halfway through the book, uh, his spider sense just starts going off at really inopportune times, and he thinks it's malfunctioning, which is like a fine plot point or whatever. It could be like my teen angst is, angst is acting up. I guess. And then yeah. his his teacher starts doing a bunch of shit that would like normally like like starts doing like cartoonishly racist shit like, oh really <laughs> yeah like like he stands up in front of a in front of his he's a history teacher he stands up in front of his class and gives a speech on how slavery was really great <laughs> <laughs> wow yeah okay and, and so all of and like like the students are just like they don't react except for like the two black students in the class the rest of the students are like this is fine and it's like no <laughs> no one would act like that yeah and then and then it turns out that the villain is a mind-controlling uh, prison warden who wants to bring slavery back. Oh my god! And it completely god. disrupts the narrative. And not only that, but the book never says the word racism. Really? It is so afraid of calling what the, what the guy's <laughs> doing is racist. They never say the word slavery. They never say the word <sighs> racism. Uh. Uh, in regards to to Miles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So but they completely clearly... pussy around it. Wow, that's fucking weird. It's bad. It's really bad. Oh my god. And like some of the plot points are just really fucking stupid. Like yeah. Miles has a part time job and he gets fired because someone steals canned sausages, <laughs> and then, then from his from his workplace because he snuck out to be, do his Spider Man or whatever. I, I and guess. And then it's like, but... but then like they really focused on the canned sausages. Like they really focus <laughs> they on go it. Go into it. Yeah. Oh my god. It's. Truly, it made me so upset. That is depressing. Because I was really looking forward to yeah, a unique yeah, yeah. black perspective on this character that, you know, it, it's very entrenched in, in, in black culture in his comic. Sure. And, sure. I, and I love that shit. I love black culture. It's inner city black culture. I love yeah. reading shit about it. And yeah. I'm interested. But then this fucking book is just a stupid <laughs> goosebumps, goosebumps bullshit. <laughs> I hated it. That's, that's fucking hilarious. It was infuriating. I'm sure. I'm sure. But my God. <laughs> <laughs> How do you even fuck up that bad? Yeah, I, just, I don't That's, know. That's oh, wow. It was he was legitimately upsetting. Yeah. I mean like I, I get that like you can use you can use real world things that are terrible to make a character uh Yeah, to, yeah. to like make a no, character a villain. Having having a character that that is like a racist, is a racist in, 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 in a, a in Spider-Man in, comic makes sense. Yeah, absolutely. Or in a Miles Morales comic. Or Aaron, yeah, in like a story makes sense. Yeah. Um man, I fucked this up. But <laughs> I'm really I, bad at these. It's fine. They're fine. They're 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 Is this where this goes? Uh no, I, I think that you have the eyes reversed. Oh. Yeah. 
That makes sense. Uh, yeah, so... This. Are you better at these than I am? Kind of, uh, yeah. When I want to give it a shake? I'll give it a... I'll give it a here you Give go. it a little... What are you saying? Shookity shook. I don't know. It's just... Oh, fuck. We need to continue this in the next episode. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so if you want to hear our, our ideas on, on, on how to write a good story about Miles Morales or Jacob's... We, we'll idea. probably drop it. <laughs> yeah, we'll drop it. <laughs> fuck it. Just See you guys. <laughs> ma make a good Spider-Man. If you're curious, then talk to us on Twitter. Yeah, message me or Jacob. The channel. Message Criticade. Follow us on Criticade. Hey guys, this is Jacob from Criticade, that thing you just watched. Uh, please like and subscribe if you want to see more of us. And comment too, that's a thing. <laughs> <laughs>